welcome to the Keith and the Girl After Show. Thank you for being here and thank you for hitting subscribe. Today's guest is Ophira Eisenberg, one of our favorites. We just recorded an entire episode that you can find anywhere podcasts are available and also in the link in the description. How do you think the show went? Good. I feel like it was a good mix of profound and in profanity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, profound and profanity. Yeah, no. actually, that's that would be a great episode title. Honestly, oh, I'm going to right now. Honestly, who doesn't like you? Mm. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'll get, I have a list. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, here we go. That would be amazing. <laughs> no, that was, is very fun. Ophir is always a blast. And now we're going to have a little fun with you. Uh, just relax a little bit. And Hemd is going to describe movie trailers, even though she doesn't know any of the actors okay. or the movies. And we're going to see who can guess it first. And the winner gets nothing. Now, I got, I got some um, help on this one because I really have messed up in the past where I pick movies that nobody knows <laughs> because I can't gauge. So uh, Captain Squiggy, Captain Swiggy wrote Swiggy? me. Yeah, so, Thanks, Cappy. So <laughs> this is from The Captain. Okay. Um, here comes the first movie. This is from the year 2000. All right. And it wasn't a big movie going year for me. I'm, I love that you can recall that right away. <laughs> and we're pressing play. I remember Trudeau was groping a woman. <laughs> That's right. 20th Century Fox. There is a woman on stage and... Uh, Wedding singer. <laughs> Shakespeare in Love. Uh, this looks very political. Like the dog. Um, what else? Oh, All the President's Men. Man is evolving. There's still a man like is a evolving. Man is evolving. That, that's what it says. Man, well, it's a fantasy. man is evolving. The time is coming. Oh. This is what it's saying in the oh, trailer. Bum, bum. And then it looks like sort of a fantasy world now. A woman with all white hair with bangs, straight hair. Um, and uh, oh, Captain Picard is in this, but he's not pa Captain Picard. He's in a wheelchair. Oh, uh, X Men. Ooh. Days of Future Past. <laughs> It just says X-Men, so you both have that one. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, 1-1. One, one. Points are doubled. Oh, anyone's Here comes going. the next one. Okay. This is from 2008, so we're going back a little further. Pressing play. This is a rated R movie. Does that mean anything to I anyone? wouldn't have seen it. What year did you say? <laughs> 2008. Okay. I was too young. Oh, there's military involved. Okay. Uh, they're just chatting in military clothes and everything seems friendly and nice charlie wilson's war uh nope by summit <laughs> entertainment now it looks like we might be heading towards war things are getting real x-men too and uh they're gearing so, up what year was oh there's a car with maybe a bomb in the in the trunk the guy's taking off his gear though so that's interesting taking off his helmet so, okay there was saving Private oh Ryan, i know it. and then there was I know uh, it. full they're, metal jacket they're looking through it the I know it. The bomb shelter. The bomb. Nope. And it exploded. The hurt locker. Yes. That's ah mm -hmm. one. Catherine Bigelow won best mm -hmm. director for that. The Oscar for female director. I'm sorry, but monumental. You, you don't get any points for any of Come this. Come on. <laughs> she was a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. You get a point for that. Uh, okay. okay. All right. This All right. next one's worth uh, five points. Five points. Anybody's game. All right. Oh, here boy. we go. It's like double and a half. We're points. going back even further to 1997. Okay. This is Ooh. a movie that I gentle saw. Gentle year, a gentle year. Press play. Here we go. You saw this movie. I saw this movie. Interesting. I actually Who do love Roger it. Rabbit? Nope. It's rated R. From what I remember, it was pretty long but good. Okay. Hmm. Um, Describe Lions every 2018. Gate. <laughs> Lions Gate, good Lions stuff. Gate. Uh, I think we're in Boston. Uh, um. And we're room. running towards a class. We're in a classroom. We're in a lecture hall. Dead Poet Society. No. <laughs> no, that's way um, before that. Good, good Will Hunting. Good. Oh! Yeah! I was in the right genre. I just couldn't get to the right year. I remember the other day I was thinking, what was, <sighs> what was his name in Good Will Hunting? <laughs> <laughs> that was the little Damon. Matt Damon, yes. yeah. And the little, uh, that yeah. was the beginning. Ben Affleck. That was the beginning of the The Affleck. worst part of that movie was the title. Like, oh, we're going to call it Goodwill Hunting. But you you named this person. <laughs> right. So the right. title isn't that clever, unless this is his, really his name in real life, and then you added hunting, which still a little, little, little shitty on the pun. I'm going to tell you something. I'm, I remember seeing that movie, too, in the theater. It was a huge thing. People went crazy for it. Yeah. It was deep. I don't remember it. I can't yeah. tell you what happened. Do you remember him talking to Robin Williams and he was talking about being abused as a kid and Robin Williams kept saying over and over, it's not your fault, it's not your fault until Matt Damon broke down. Do you remember that? Sort of. 
Do you remember? Do you remember something gets, about apples? He gets the woman's phone number. No. He gets a he gets his girlfriend's phone number at the, you know not his girlfriend at the time and he says hey fellow frat douche mm-hmm. do you like apples what's up dipshit and that guy goes what a great question let me contemplate if I do indeed like apples I do like apples why and he goes because I got the number how you like them apples uh... and the other guy goes. Why did I get so involved in a question about apples in the first place? <laughs> I'm going to say something controversial about this. <laughs> I hated that line. And people quote that line like it's clever from 1997 till now. Right. Mm. And I get such bad looks when I'm like, that's not a good line. How do you like them? You don't set someone do up. Like, like, oh, and BoJack Horseman, there's one point where um, he's sitting across from an old enemy or whatever the fuck. And he goes, uh, they're having dinner. How do you like your utensils? <laughs> oh, um, they're fine, I guess. Oh, well, if you don't, I have a knife here if you want to like, you have a knife in my back if you want to take that or whatever right. the fuck. And he's like, yeah, why did I answer a question about utensils? <laughs> right, right. Like, how do you like them apples? How do you like right. them apples? Uh, we just had a big fight today, but um, mm, I like red apples. <laughs> no, just how do you like them? Oh, I guess I like them. Diced. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's apples for you. A phone number. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much. Uh, click subscribe. Oh, candied. Hit, uh, hit that bell. That's the secret. <laughs> and we'll talk to you soon. Keith and the girl. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. I like that game. Yeah, it's fun. Oh, good.